Oh, great. Oh, too early, too early, Lewis. You. Hey, guys, welcome back to another video in which I, the casual sim racer, Mr. Slow, tries the weekly uh, hot lap challenge in Automobilista 2, set by a fellow YouTuber, Matt, aka the Sim Racer's Arms. Link to his video will be down below in the video description. Make sure you go check him out. Uh, essentially, I make these videos every week to uh, show you how I personally get on doing these. They are an absolute blast. And to try and encourage others to do it. And to essentially show that you don't have to be a really, really good sim racer to have fun in these challenges. You can just put in a few laps, have a bit of a laugh, but have a bit of a, well, a bit of a laugh. And, and see how you get on on the time trial boards, which is a great feature of AMS2, having the uh, the time trial boards right there in the game without any mods. So uh, this week we are in the Group C car, the new Nissan that's been added to the car, the Nissan R89C. This is the era of motor racing where you had to have massive balls to race. The cars are absolute monsters. If you put your foot down, you will spin. So you kind of ease the car into moving um, and then eventually get the full throttle. It's an absolute monster to manage really fun watch the video see how i get on and then uh and then let's see your times on the board as well right let's see just how bad i'll do right so here we are then just up here i have got the times i uh don't expect to do amazingly well on this one Just because the, the cars are absolute beasts, as you can see. This was big ball racing era. These cars are essentially rocket engines on bloody wheels. This is the era when the power was way. The power was maybe a little bit more than the cars could, to be honest, handle properly. Um, no real fancy electronics. No fancy fancy traction controls. Oh my god! Oh! So as I was saying, these cars are, are madness monsters. I am trying to use the uh, oh, trying to use my shifter that you you can't quite see. Oh my god, this thing wants to bloody slide. Oh. Shifting a wee bit early there. Gotta wait for the little light on the dash, really. Be careful on the brakes. For a casual dad racer, these are real challenge to get to grips with. We've got the ghosts active, as you can see. Oh my lord. Oh, great. Oh, too early, too early, Lewis. You. So, yeah, the ghosts I've got loaded. Obviously, I've got Matt, the, uh, the Sim Racers Arms, who sets these challenges weekly. We've got Old Fart who I've definitely raced against online in AMS2. I believe they're a bit of a regular on the multiplayer races. And then we've got what I can only believe is the ironically named Captain Slow, who is actually ahead of Matt at this point on the leaderboards. I believe that Old Fart is currently uh, the slowest out of the ghost. Certainly not the slowest on the leaderboard. But, oh my lord, not again. Oh, Tokyo drifting. Come on, make the, the bloody corner. There we go. There we go. Right, okay. 
Now, can we make an entire bloody lap? That is the question. <laughs> oh, don't go that. Not again, not again, not again. Come on, this time, please, Lewis. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'll take it. We finally, we finally get halfway around the bloody course. Oh my word, these are monsters. These are absolute beasts. Well, this is the, um, the Vidal Nürburgring. ring. Oh, apparently, apparently we drift around that corner. You guys, you guys got to give these a go. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. So I can't do a single lap. It'd be nice to get an actual lap. I don't want this to be the first one in almost a year that I'm not able to do a bloody lap without an about an incident or a drift. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's feared. That is, this is just going to be feared, surely. Yeah. Okay, still getting used to the shifter, obviously, as I've made point in my old videos. God damn you, yeet it through there. Oh my god. Lewis. As I say I'm getting used to a shifter, I managed to upshift instead of downshift. Oh my god. True clip on display there, guys. True clip on display. Come on. Little bit crap exit there. Might have been easier using a round rim. I've just stuck. I've just stuck the GT3 rim on because it's what I've been. It's what I've been using in other sims at the minute. Using the LFM RF2 stuff that I'm oh currently addicted to. God damn, this car wants to absolutely just kill you as soon as you put the power down. It doesn't really have the technology to, to put it all down in one go. Especially in the lower gears, it will absolutely kill you. It just wants to go sideways. Oh, come on. Come on. I think we're finally going to beat a ghost. Right, I think that's old far done. Dispatched. I don't know if we're going to get... I'm worried that we're not going to get Matt. Right, okay. I am uh, not a mega fan of this track, if I'm being honest. I love I love the Nords. I like this track when it's in when it's a part of the Nords, but on its own, that that section back there, the first section, not a fan. 
it's, it's a little bit too wallowy for me. I don't know if that's the best word. I don't know what the word is. But, as always, with this kind of sim racing stuff, I don't dislike any particular car. It's very hard to dislike a particular track. It's more just a question of on the scale of goodness where does it land because I mean most of these are just they're an absolute blast really <laughs> come on come on come on come on Right, we'll do, let's see if we can get just one more in. Don't know if we're going to get Captain Slow. I think we've just beaten Matt, which is kind of the goal. So you got to, you really got to almost use the brakes. Feck, that exit is bad. Get the power on. And then you drop the anchors, drop a gear, smash it through there, drop the anchors a wee bit, and smash it through here, get on the power. Yeah, Captain Slow, you are not slow, mate. Come on, come on, get it around. No. <laughs> Bye, bits of car. There we go, then. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my attempts. I've uh, I'll make sure in the edit I'm gonna put in all the crap because I want to make sure people see that like casual sim racing is fun. You can crash and stuff, and it's fine during these challenges. It's fine. You can take as many attempts as you want. Um. So yeah, I've put all of my attempts are gonna be um in this. Um. I think, how many laps was that? <laughs> to be honest, I think I probably only did about two laps. But the attempts of laps, um, there was probably five or six, maybe. Um, but there we go. I managed to get, once I got used to it, I managed to get a uh, 146.302. Uh, I'm seventh on the leaderboard in the vehicle. And that's the important thing about the Group C. Because um, there's lots of different cars in this class in the game, and they all different performance. Some are quick around different tracks. Um, so make sure you select up here. Let's look where my mouse is. Make sure you select vehicle. Just then you get just the Nissans. So I'm in seventh. Um, Captain Slow is up here, 144. Kevin, one of the many Kevins up here, 140 bloody free, of course. Um, hopefully someone like Rocco, I might give Rocco a message and just just ask him, do you want a world record? <laughs> well, I, I expect Rocco might turn up and beat, beat Lucas up here. Um, and then on page two, I've managed to push Matt onto page two, which is a cheeky little nice feeling. Uh, I'm b b b b b four tenths. Four tenths ahead of Matt there with a 146.7. That's Matt. Um, and then there's old Fart, um, who was the uh, the slow of the ghosts, but still not last on the uh, on the leaderboard with a 148. So give this one a go, guys. If you like this video, do please give us a like. Comment down below how you get on. Comment down below on if you like time trials in games. Is hot lapping um, in this kind of way? Because I think that's the thing. Hot lapping can be fun, but I think when it, when hot lapping in a way in which the um, the game uh, records everything and you're automatically placed onto leaderboards, I think it just adds a nice little element that maybe other sim racing titles could do. It certainly helps people like myself. Um, I got the day job. I got kids. I'm a dad. Um, I can't commit to a league all of the time. Um, so being able to kind of multiplayer but not multiplayer it's pretty awesome. AMS2 definitely tick a lot of boxes in that regard. Um, and obviously, massive thanks to the Sim Racers Arms who've set in these weekly 
um, and allowing us uh, allowing us a weekly challenge uh, that's outside of the uh, official AMS2 ones. Um, so I'm not going to lie. The official ones tend to be a bit safe. It's kind of default car at the, the track that car goes with, whereas Matt uses a bit of a <laughs> random combo generator and comes up with car A at track Z. Let's see how we get on. And it's always a giggle. Always a giggle. Right. I'm going. I better go edit this. Uh, I need to get it uploaded tomorrow. <laughs> see you later, guys.